blocking audio and video recording of this meeting for public broadcasting. I ask that anyone else in the audience who is recording this meeting to please identify themselves for the record now by standing and stating their name and addresses or raising their hand on the Zoom platform and um, acknowledging their, their names and addresses. Okay, seeing none. A uh, meeting of the Fitchburg Appointments Committee is being held on April 20th of 2021 at the Legislative Building, 700 Main Street in Fitchburg, uh, Massachusetts, and has been called to order by at 648. Committee members present uh, would be uh, Amy Green virtually, Marcus Di Natale virtually, Marissa Fleming virtually, uh, and myself, Attorney Andrew Kucher, present uh, physically, as well as Councillor uh, Beth Walsh uh, physically uh, here at 700 um, Main Street in Fitchburg. Others present is uh, Chief Ernest Martineau and uh, Derek Cruz, Tamara Russell Brown, and it looks like we have an Audrey Pendleton Chow who will be uh, um, joining us as well. Okay, we have her on as well. Okay, great. And today we are going to be discussing uh, two new appointments. One is the new appointment to a Fitchburg Cultural Council, uh, Mr. Derek Cruz, who is also with us today. Uh, I would like to open up the floor and allow Mr. Cruz to be able to make some public comments to the, uh, to the committee. Go ahead, Derek, you can take yourself off mute, introduce yourself. Sure. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, no particular comments at this time. Just want to thank um, Mayor D'Antale for the appointment and to uh, express uh, my, uh, my, my eagerness to, to get involved and my excitement to join the, the council, uh, the cultural council, and uh, to contribute uh, however I can. That's all. Okay. And it looks like we have uh, two people to speak in favor of you. First one, uh, first one I will call is Audrey Pendleton Chow. Uh, I have no comment, but um, from uh, what I see from Derek, uh, that he's getting very involved and we're excited to have him on the council. Okay. Excellent. And it looks like Tamara Russell Brown is also uh, has registered for comment to the committee as well. Hi, my name is Tamara Russell Brown and I'm the chair of the Fitchburg Cultural Council and the Fitchburg Cultural Council is actively seeking new members. And so we're here this evening because we really would like to express our appreciation for the mayor for having Derek Cruz here this evening. And we would like to be here, we're here in favor of adding him to our council. We absolutely need new members. So Derek Cruz has a really wonderful background and a wonderful resume in the arts and we could really use his support on the council. We're here tonight for this. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, we uh, will open it up now to any member of the committee to make any kind of comments. Go ahead, Beth. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. I, I would just like to say that I think that um, Derek Cruz is particularly um, qualified for this appointment. Uh, I believe he has a Master of Fine Arts, which will uh, be a nice addition to the Cultural Council in addition to all of the other qualified people who are there. Excellent, thank you. And, and I'd like to make a motion to approve if... Okay, um, hold on, before hold you made the motion... I'll hold my motion for Councillor Green. Yeah, uh, Councillor Green uh, put up her hand before you made the motion, so we're gonna hold off on the motion and go ahead, uh, Councillor Green, you can make your comments. Yes, hi there, thank you. And again, um, Derek, big round of applause for stepping up. Um, I appreciate the support and the energy and the enthusiasm and the volunteerism that you bring to this council. Uh, you're gonna be surrounded by a group of wonderful people who continue to want to move Fitchburg forward. So that's important as we embrace um, possibly some challenges ahead of us. So I appreciate and look forward to working with you as well as, as all members on this council and look forward to um, literally seeing you out and about around town. So thank you. Thank you, Councillor Green. I'll renew my motion to approve. I'll okay. second. Okay, we have a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, look, looks like it, it's a unanimous vote. Um, and Welcome, next up. Welcome, Derek. Excuse me? Welcome, Derek. 
Yes, welcome, Derek, very much. We're uh, looking forward to seeing what you can do on the, uh, the Cultural Council. I'm sure you're going to be a, uh, a very fine addition, and I look forward to working with you. Uh, so moving on, uh, we have, yes, we have um, a, a full-time student, a new appointment of a full-time student police officer for the city of Fitchburg, uh, Angelo J. Raymond, Jr., and speaking uh, on behalf of Mr. Ramos is Chief Ernest Martineau. Good to see you, Chief. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I must apologize that my student officer is not here this evening. Um, he, for some reason, he thought it was seven o'clock. He is on the way. Um, but if you'd like me to proceed without him being present, I, I can speak on his behalf. Please do, Chief. You know, uh, Angelo is a 26-year-old, uh, born and raised here in the city of Fitchburg. He attended Fitchburg Public Schools. Um, he later went on to graduate from the Sizer School in 2013. Uh, from that point, he went on. Uh, he had an interest in law enforcement. He went to the Reserve Intermittent Police Academy in Boylston, graduated from there in June of last year. Currently, he's working at Behavioral Concepts here in Fitchburg as a behavioral therapist. He does as a specialty uh, working with uh, people with autism, which I think is an extreme plus in our profession today. So um, we're looking forward to him starting the police academy, um, and we look forward to having him join the ranks at the police department. And once again, I, I do apologize that he's not here. Right. Is this him coming this in, him? Chief? So I'm going to ask the counselors if you, I would ask them some questions. <laughs> Mr. Ramos, if you want to take the take here, uh, the counselors may have some questions for you. Uh, Mr. Chair, this is Angelo Ramos, the uh, officer I just described. Thank you. Hello. Nice Thank to meet you. Thank you for appearing uh, before the, the appointments committee today, uh, Mr. Ramos. Could you tell us a little bit, a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> so, I would say um, I like to think of myself as a, a community hardworking person, and we uh, I picture that as like, you know, I, I've been working since the age of 14, um, and my very first job was at Luck, right? Um, and ever since there, I've always had multiple jobs, always working with people, um, and for the past four years. I've been working with, um, you know, kids with autism, um, you know, helping with their behaviors and, and to get forward in life. And so, um, for my work landscape and as I am as a person, I, um, I like to think of myself as a, a community person that likes to help others um, a little bit before myself. Um, and that's why I see a lot of my pleasure is to uh, see other people get ahead in life. Um, and aside from that, I mean, I'm pretty, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty weird. I have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, little hobbies here and there. Um, but aside from that, I do like to work a lot and uh, love working around in my community. Excellent. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Um, I will now open up the floor to uh, the members of the committee, and it looks like a uh, uh, Councillor Green has her hand up. Yes, thank you. And again, Mr. Ramos, I uh, commend you for wanting to move forward, not only in your profession, but as in your personal life as well. Um, my God, it doesn't seem like 2013 is a from you being a graduate of Sizer School that you should be in front of us already as a student police officer. But I commend your hard work and your effort. Um, I want to say uh, duly thank you to Chief Martineau for once again bring, bringing a candidate forward who um, appreciates and understands the complexity of mental health, um, especially when policing. So I, I want to say to you, Mr. Ramos, continue to do the great work that you do. Um, I look forward to you being a community asset to us as we move forward as a community and um, you know God keep you safe so thank you for wanting to step up and do your part thank you we have a motion to approve do I have a second do I have a second second okay all in favor aye, aye. all right looks like we're unanimous 
Mr. Ramos, thank you very much for uh, stepping up to uh, serve the community, and we think you're uh, going to be a, uh, a great, a great full-time student police officer for the city of Fitchburg, and we thank you for your service. Thank you. And it looks to be like that is the end of uh, the appointments committee. Uh, look for. Uh, okay, I got a motion to adjourn and a second. No, no, so no. before oh. we adjourn, I just want to speak before we adjourn. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead. I, I am having a very difficult time hearing what our appointment is saying with the mask. Okay. So anybody who comes to the podium, coming forward, if they could remove their mask to speak, because I can't understand what's being said. Okay, duly noted, uh, Councillor Fleming. Thank you very much for letting us know. All right, uh, so do we have a uh, motion to adjourn? Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. All right, looks like we have a unanimous vote. Thank you very much. And um, that will be the end of the uh, Fitchburg Appointments Committee. Thank you.